Here is an easy technique anyone can use to paint flowers in watercolor by Deb Watson. That's me. This is my watercolor lesson from last week with strawberry shortcake. It was delicious. In this short video, you'll learn a simple method for painting flowers with many clusters of petals, like hydrangeas or phlox. It only takes minutes to learn this step-by-step -step method. For success, start with vibrant colors and clean water. Today, I'm using quinacridone red and ultramarine blue. You want a puddle of red and a puddle of blue mixed with a little red for purple. For the first layer, wet your paper with clean water so that it's evenly damp. Today I'm using Core brand paints. If you haven't heard of Core yet, they dry with beautiful intense color. So I recommend them and not just for flowers. When your paper is evenly damp, paint in a few areas of red and just let it spread out on the paper. I'm using the side of my brush to lay on the color. Then put in some purple. The purple can go beside the red or mix into some of the red. You don't have to paint every last bit of paper with color but you want a nice variety of pinks and purples in this first wash. And notice I'm not adding any more water by cleaning my brush between colors. The first layer should be fairly light in value with interesting blends of red and purple. For more texture, you could sprinkle some table salt onto your wash once it starts to dry, or touch the drying surface with a damp brush to create a small bloom. These take a minute to show up. Once the first wash is completely dry, use a pencil to draw on some of those tiny flowers. Draw clusters of three to five flowers with a few smaller clusters of two or even a couple single flowers. You want to cover about a third of your wash area with drawn blooms. In the second wash, paint color behind the little flowers you just drew. Begin at one side and work your way across. Wet the area behind the flower then touch in red or blue or purple. And once again, you don't want a solid color all the way across. You can leave some areas lighter in value. If it's too dark, use a paper towel or thirsty brush to lift up some color. And you can always add salt or touch water into this wash also.
The last part of step two is to add a tiny dot of very dark color to the center of each flower. The dark color could be red or purple. Then dry it well and take a damp brush and gently rub each of those dried dots of color to soften them up. For the last step, paint on some dark flowers. Okay, mine isn't quite dry enough, but it can still work. You can also outline one side of any light area and put a dot in the middle to suggest more flowers. This last bit is all about suggesting a bunch of flowers behind the ones you drew, but don't overdo it. Stand back and see how your flowers look from a distance before you paint over all the pretty blends. Suggesting detail is fast, easy, and effective. For more watercolor tips and lots of lessons, visit debwatson.org. Here is some of the art happening there. Each lesson has everything you need to paint beautiful watercolor realism. So visit today. Happy painting.